grace, mercy, and peace to you from God our Father, from our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Tonight is Christmas Eve. Tonight we celebrate and we cling to Emmanuel, which means God with us. We celebrate and we cling to the God who came into this world, into the darkest of nights. He came to a small group of people who were crying out for him, while all the world around thought little of him. All the world around thought that they could make this life work without him. That political efforts, or military might, or strict moral rules would be enough, for such is our human nature, to believe that we can make do just fine without God. Thank you very much. And when he came, this Emmanuel, this God with us, he did not come as one would expect the king of all creation to come. His coming was humble and lowly. A few people knew they were beholding a miracle, but most of life went on uninterrupted, unchanged. And he came, this God with us, through a human life. God Almighty was delivering His love, His truth, and His word into a heartsick and hurting world through someone who was, by all human appearances, a regular, everyday person. By this point, I'll bet you all think you know what I'm talking about. You all think I was talking about Jesus' birth in a stable 2,000 years ago. But I wasn't. All these things can truly be said about Jesus' birth in a stable 2,000 years ago, but I was speaking of a different event. I was speaking of your baptism. I was speaking of Jesus' birth into your life. You see, that is the moment when the God of all creation, by His Word and Spirit, was born into you. You were buried and raised with Him. This Emmanuel, this God with us, entered the world, and he did it through you. A few people around knew that this was a miracle, but for the most part, daily life continued uninterrupted. And yet a miraculous birth, a rebirth, had taken place. God had entered into human history once again through a human being, you. All you who have been baptized into Christ, who call on his name in faith, are a new creation. You are a brother or sister to Christ himself. You are a bearer of his love and truth into a world of desperate need. We gather together tonight to celebrate Christ's birth. But we aren't just celebrating something that happened 2,000 years ago in some town in some stable. We are celebrating that because Jesus came to a manger, because he died on a cross, because he rose again from the grave, he is now Emmanuel, God with us. We are celebrating because he has been born in our lives and we have been made new. Despite all our sins and failures, despite our pride and our doubt, Despite our apathy, our addictions, our anger, and our flaws, Christ lives within us. God with us. Because he was born in you, and he was born in me. Because you were joined with him in his death and resurrection, so it is no longer you who live, but Christ who lives within you. That is what we celebrate this night. That God, who was born in a manger 2,000 years ago to conquer sin, death, and the devil, has been born in you and in me. No matter the circumstances of life, this fact is unchanged. Jesus is our Emmanuel, God with us. No matter life's tragedies and hardships and afflictions, and these we know well. No matter life's joys and gifts and blessings, and these we celebrate. No matter our sins and betrayals for which we repent, Jesus is our Emmanuel. As St. Paul says it, who shall separate us from the love of Christ? 
Shall tribulation, or distress, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or danger, or sword? No. In all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, nor angels nor rulers, neither things present nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. Christ Jesus our Lord, our Emmanuel, our God with us. Not just in a manger, in a stable in Bethlehem so long ago, but right now, living in you and in me. That is why we celebrate. We celebrate the birth of Christ, God with us. And so I say to all of you, Merry Christmas. And may the peace of God, which passes all understanding, Guard your hearts and minds firmly in the true faith in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen.